Hey, Beth, are you here? Okay, cool, see you in a second. Here's some tea. Did you manage to get anything done while I was gone? Barely. I'm too tired to be productive this week. Well, this is peppermint. It's supposed to like awaken the mind or something. Maybe it'll help you wake up a bit. I doubt it. I haven't felt awake since the school year started. It'll be a miracle if I make it through the exam season with my sanity intact. Have you started your university applications yet? Um, no, not really. I'm just, I'm trying to figure some stuff out. Well, do you know what you want to study? I'm not sure. You always wanted to do something in the arts, right? Maybe you could like- I'm really just not sure. <laughs> Thea, I know a year doesn't seem like a long time, but- But I should be over it by now, yeah, I know. That's not what I was gonna say. I just think that now's a great time for you to start thinking about your future, you know? Start afresh somewhere new? I don't know. Maybe I should take a gap year. What? Why? I mean, you've got great grades, you did a bunch of clubs, and you'll probably get scholarships if you try. And it's not like you're gonna travel or anything. You'll never feel ready if that's what you're waiting for. I mean, you can't let your past stop you from living your life. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. That was insensitive. I, I no. didn't mean it. No, it's okay. Look. I want to move on, but I don't want to feel like I'm forgetting. I feel guilty. It just doesn't seem fair. You're right. It's not fair. I shouldn't have pushed it. That's... It's okay. Let's, let's just get back to this, okay? I need to pass this class and I've got so much on my plate with packing and stuff. You know, we're moving on Monday. I get it. I mean, I didn't wake up at 7 a.m. to come over and not study. <laughs> I can't believe you're moving. I practically grew up in this house with you. Yeah, but my parents just need something smaller, you know, what with me moving out soon and Alex. Right, I get it. Um, could you could you help me with chapter 7? I didn't get in the class. Yeah, sure. Pass, pass the book. Hey Thea, um, I just got done at the post office, so I think I'm gonna head to Amelia's for a bit. She has a few people over, so I don't really want to stay too long. But I can't believe I'm finally done with my portfolios. I just dropped them off to be delivered, so hopefully I'll start hearing back from colleges soon.
I know mom and dad were sitting on me studying business for a minute there, but I'm really glad they came around to letting me do art in the end, and I'm so excited to have more time to focus on music. Anyways, I'm just uh, rambling now, so just letting you know where I'll be. I don't think I'll be home late because I don't want to drive in the dock, so see you in a bit. Okay, bye. Hey again, so I think you're probably sleeping, which is fine. I just wanted to let you know that I'm alright. I just had to drop off one of Amelia's friends. She wasn't feeling too well. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm heading home now. But it's raining really hard and it's pretty dark, so I'm just gonna take it slow. Um, I'll be home soon. Oh, by the way, I'm really excited. I had an idea for a project earlier today and I can't wait to tell you about it. Alright, gotta go. Love you. Bye. For my sister, Thea, my sister, my first friend, my best friend, I have never known somebody to drive me so insane, and yet I wouldn't hesitate to give my life for you. You have always been my creative partner and my biggest fan, and as I go off to college, I am scared of things changing. Before I go, I want us to make one last project over the summer. Something big. I want to remind you of what you're capable of when you throw your heart and soul into something. You hold so much talent, but you're held back by fear. So let go of your fear. Let go of your doubts and open up to change and growth. I will be in the front row of everything you accomplish and I cannot wait to see what you can achieve when you allow yourself to take risks always go big as if going home is not an option Hey Beth, are you here? 
Okay, cool. See you in a second.